you. Now, the Public Service Commission is releasing its ninth state of the public service report. The report provides an impartial overview of trends in the public service. It also assesses the performance of departments against the nine principles in section 195 of the Constitution in relation to a theme. Indran Naidu now joins us in the studio. He is the DDG for the monitoring of the relation department at the Commission. To tell us more about this report, Indran, good morning and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, good morning. Now, for the yes. benefit of those um, at home, give us a brief description of our of, 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 of the report itself? Um, in essence, what the report does is it measures the performance of the public service against the nine values and principles of public administration, as we have it in the Constitution. And annually, and this is the ninth edition, we comment on the performance uh, across a range of issues, from ethics right up to representativity. And this year, our theme was integration coordination for effective service delivery. And we came up with a report which actually draws on data of the Public Service Commission as well as other institutions which indicates where the gaps and, and, and problems are. Now, what does the report actually say I mean, in terms of those comments? I mean, what, 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 can, what can we read into it? What, what ex what well, we in a nutshell, it states that whilst we have uh, several government departments and a lot has been spent, integration and coordination remains a problem. What that means is at the cold face of service delivery, citizens often do not get the services that they should. So, for example, when it comes to professional ethics, we talk about the data from the National Anti-Corruption Hotline. We find that whilst there's a high level of reporting of cases of poor service delivery or mis misconduct, uh, this does not follow through in terms of the feedback departments give. In fact, there's only a feedback rate of 35%, which is a concern, which means that departments are not taking seriously the comments that are given by citizens. The second area that we found which is um, of concern is around performance evaluation. Now, the heads of department uh, are supposed to be evaluated by their ministers. And in the last uh, financial year, only 50% of the heads of department were evaluated. And our concern is that if at the highest level of government, performance uh, um, assessments are not taken seriously, most certainly this will permeate right into the organization. And we, we actually state that this trend really cannot uh, continue. Now, look at uh, you know, public service departments. You know, the president was spoken about those naming and shaming those who do not mm. perform. Um, which of those departments in the public service? Can, can we outright say the top of your head, you know, need to be jacked up, if you can put it that way? And which are getting there, you know, in terms of, 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 of service? This particular report uh, mops up uh, the, the evaluation work of the Public Service Commission over an entire year, so we don't get down to departments. But we do point out, for example, when it comes to the performance management system, Limpopo has performed poorly. Uh, the Western Cape has performed well. We also, in the report, as part of the, um, the, 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 the process of, you know, of inducing transparency, also indicate uh, which departments have received qualified and unqualified audits. Uh, uh, we have a great concern around municipalities, where 75% of them have some form of disclaimer. And most certainly, if service delivery is happening at that level, uh, it, it is a concern in terms of how the finances are managed. Mm. Now, looking at, you know, what is the report saying about the state of, of, of overall public service? I think overall it's, it's painting an uneven picture and a lot more can be done. Uh, most certainly it points to uh, areas where management and leadership needs to be jacked up. Uh, because we are several years into the democracy and it is important at this stage, now that you have the policies in place, for them to be implemented and to be acted on. You cannot, uh, we, we cannot continue with the situation where we thought of saying the same thing year in, year out. But most certainly the, um, the initiative from the presidency around the outcomes is going to force governments to move out of the silo and actually work together. Because the whole, um, the, the, the logic behind the outcomes approach is that what is the outcome for the citizen on the ground? So we point out in the report that uh, government departments have been too inward focused. They've been very busy. But so what? Where does it all lead to? And unless it leads to a tangible improvement in the quality of lives of citizens, then um, all the effort is, is actually in, uh, in vain. Now, Indran, before we wrap up, you know, the findings, what's going to be done about, uh, from, from the findings? What should um, we expect? This report is all, will, will, will go out at, at, at various levels. We present the report to Parliament, to the various portfolio committees. We will also be presenting the report to Cabinet. And on the basis of this, there's a set of recommendations which are made. And once these are adopted, we will track the extent to which the recommendations are, uh, are adhered to. And in cases where they are not adhered to, we will report again publicly on this. That's Indra Naidu joining us today on More in Love, speaking about public service and very important public service issues because South Africans need delivery. And the presidency, as you said, you know, we need people to, to benefit from public service. It's not for, for companies or municipalities, it's actually supposed to benefit yes. people. Thank you very Bye. much.
Now we go to Rob Burn.